Hi, you all are your model smile on. I just love it. It's very good. <sighs> Loading up the wagon and the gear. Ah, Frank is going to meet me in 15 minutes right here. And we're going to drive over to another town. And my client has given me permission to film at her session. It happens to be a park with a row of flowering trees. <laughs> We've had some difficulty scheduling this with weather and when they bloom and vacations. And I think it's finally coming together. Today. I'm so excited. Let me get the rest of the gear here. And Frank is here and we'll take off. So Frank and I are here Hello. Hello. <laughs> at this park and oh my gosh, the row of trees is perfect. I've been so worried about this. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes early. We scouted around. It's a popular place for photos. So there are other people here, but not like I thought it would be. So, ah. and Frank saw a couple other places that would be great for this family. Oh my gosh, look at these trees. This session had all kinds of challenges we're going to talk about in this video, from lighting to distractions to timing to the dogs. Oh, but we're going to start off with Yurik here in front of the trees. So pretty. Come here. There we go. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Okay, Frank, you ready? Yep. Go. Perfect. The first challenge, of course, was that it was a Friday evening. I try really hard not to go to these public busy parks during the busiest times, but with the blooms only having a small window of time when it wasn't windy and stormy and we were all in town, this is all we had. So we're trying all kinds of sounds and treats and toys because the park is ridiculously busy and the dogs are very distracted. Lucky for us, early in the session, Jamie's mom and her husband came over to the park and helped a quite a bit too. So it was kind of a fun whole family gathering. Look at your ball. Here, check it out. I got your ball. Another challenge, as you might be able to tell, is that although these trees are huge, they're still, the blossoms are very, very far up in the tree compared to how tall dogs and people are. Uh, sorry about the weird angle on some of these GoPro footage. But to combat that, I try to get almost all the way onto the ground so I can get those blossoms behind them. Everybody looks so great! Oh my goodness. So, so good. Yeah! <laughs> Another challenge was the light coming and going. So you might be able to tell throughout the video, sometimes we have bright light that Frank is able to reflect back onto the subjects, and sometimes the clouds have covered the sun, and so it's a fairly dark scene. And you might not be able to tell here, but shooting back into those trees is a little dark. They've made this little little tunnel, and it's there's no light getting through in there. So we're trying the reflector here. For some reason, neither one of uh, Frank or I got out the flash. I kept thinking it would make strange shadows on them, uh, but it worked out overall. Uh, but we did have the challenge of the ch ever-changing spring light. And here is that same scene from my camera angle with the GoPro on the top. And you can see how if I get down super low, we can see those petals and greenery behind them. And here I am holding the ball and trying to squeak it. And grandma is standing behind us and Frank's got the reflector. And this, so far the dogs are doing pretty good in this spot with no people walking by. I want to go play with those baby geese, please. Is that what it is? I think oh, so. snap. We don't want you to do that, sweetheart. Hey, Boswell, smile. I think if you'd like did this with the ball a little bit right above my head. Okay. And maybe squeak it first so he knows it's there. There it is. 
Look what I got. Look what Grandma got. Oh. Okay. <laughs> is that okay? I called you Grandma. Oh, is absolutely. that okay? okay. <laughs> and here is the main image I had envisioned. Both dogs on the trail with the flowers completely surrounding them and going off into the distance. Oh, this was awesome. Pretty good right there, honestly. Oh, treats, treats. Biscuits. <laughs> And we stayed in almost the same location. You can probably tell, well, I'm almost in the pond, but I'm not, trust me. But just behind them, you can see to the left is that big bank of trees and they're up on a hill several feet above me. So again, I can get really low and shoot up towards them and have the beautiful trees behind them. Uh, and the dogs really loved actually looking at the geese in the pond. So it's working out pretty good. And we were in more of an open light situation. So although the light had gone behind the clouds, it was just over my shoulder. So straight onto them. And I'll show you the view from the GoPro from where I am too. We were lucky to have this hill. Oftentimes I'm looking for rocks or logs or a bench to or a brick wall, something to put uh, dogs up on and people up on so we can elevate them and get those foliage behind them. But well, we at least have the hillside here. At the very end, I swiveled the dogs and I was hoping to get the lake pond behind them with the sunset behind them with you can see Frank position to reflect that sunset back at them. But they were so intrigued with the pond and the ducks in the pond. And they were kind of over it. They were done at that point. We tried. Uh, and I think I ended up getting a couple individual images. Uh, but this is swiveled exactly that's where I had been standing. And they were where I am. So we just swiveled 180 degrees. And that was the pond behind us just for a different look instead of having everything be the flowering trees. Okay, we just finished up with Boswell and Yurik here at the park. It is now 7.12, so it's only been about an hour, which is perfect. So we got a lot of pictures along the path, these are amazing trees, and then some with the pond behind us. So, so pretty, in a variety of light. Frank did awesome, as always, with the reflector. He's over there packing up. Um, and then uh, we just had some open overcast, so great. And huge, huge props to uh, Jamie and Clinton for letting us film behind the scenes. And I hope you enjoy this video and get a chance to do some spring flower pictures yourself. Right, Frank? You betcha. You want to say bye? <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> we got to head back now. Okay, bye. <laughs>